Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we are studying subtraction and regrouping in subtraction with zero tens. That can be a little tricky, so pay close attention if you haven't done this before. Now, let's say we have 400 and 2. We need to subtract 128. So how do we do that? If you look at this model here, these pictures, I cannot subtract 8, there's not enough. I cannot subtract 20 because I don't have any tens. So what do I do? What can I do? The only thing I can do is to take one of these hundreds and break it down into, first of all, 10 tens, okay? So this hundred needs to be broken down, so to speak, into 10 tens. All right, looking better, but I still cannot subtract eight ones, okay? I don't have eight little dots here. So now I need to take one of these tens and break it into ten ones. There. Now I'm ready to subtract. When you're doing it over here, you start subtracting eight ones in that order, okay? And then two tens and then one hundred, okay? And now we can see the answer would be 274. Now let's do it using this. Okay, the same problem. I cannot subtract 2 minus 8. Normally I would take a 10 from here, but there are none. So I need to go over here to the hundreds and take one of those hundreds. So that leaves here 300, right? And that 100 moves here. To the tens column and then I take one ten from it leaving 90 here and move the 10 here right and the 10 and 2 together make 12 so there was a lot happening right now I can subtract 12 minus 8 90 minus 20 and 300 minus 100 so the answer is 274. But let's do all of this again with this next problem. This time I have 500. I need to subtract 390 and 4. There are no tens, no ones. So I will take a hundred and break it into ten tens. Let me also show you how we do it over here. I take a hundred. Okay, leaving 400, and then this 100, it is 10 tens, it goes into the tens column. Then the next step is I take one of the tens and break it down into 10 ones. And what happens here is I take a 10, so it leaves 90 here, and then 10 here. This time I did not have any ones to begin with, so I just have now those 10 that I got from breaking down the 10. Now, ready to subtract. 10 minus 4 would be 6. 90 minus 90 would be 0. And then 400 minus 300, 100. Okay. And of course you can cross out those things in the picture too. Four of those all of these, and then three of these. 